Good morning and welcome everybody into my studio. I'm working on a beautiful home that Becky Owens designed. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I did the windows, the foliage, and um, the foreground and some other things. I hope you guys follow along with me as I show you a little bit of my process. Um, and later I'll be posting a time lapse of this too. So it would be kind of cool to see uh, different parts of this painting how it was completed and then the overall. So first I want to show you guys how I put a light in the windows. I'm going to grab some red and brown and these are my windows so I'll go to here. And we'll start to add that to the bottom to bring in some light. I found for me I, there's no perfect way to put light in windows, so I just kind of imagine looking at someone's house and seeing where the light is in there. Maybe it's up top. So I got two windows filled with light now. I will do the rest of the windows and fill them up the same way, and then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay guys, we now have all the windows in with light, and now let me show you uh, what I do next with the windows. I'm going to get some brown, and we're going to outline the windows with trim. Okay guys, the windows are installed, and we're looking pretty good. Now what is the next step? I do not know, let's find out. Next I want to show you guys what I do for the foliage. I'm going to take green and brown and some red and a little bit of every color, and then we're going to go into this foreground. For this, I'm not trying to make it look perfect, it's just blocking it in and um, trying to make soft edges so it's not too stiff. This is one of my favorite parts because like you see these edges, they're not really finished. So I can go in here with this foliage and just soften it up and it makes it look um, uh, really nice. Grab a little more red in this and more yellow. Cause I'm going more for like a fall look for this. So I have more of the fall colors. Yeah, it looks better. Now I'm painting on uh, a water-based paint right now. So it's really fast drying and it's quick. And it's really beneficial because I can get a lot of water on the brush and into the paint. And it's going to go on and it just goes on quick so I can block in what I need to do, block in fast.
Now when I come closer to where the windows are, I want to make it a little lighter so it looks like the light's shining out on it. So what I'll do is I'll add some red and yellow to my green mix. And you can see, you can see now it looks like it's now it's the bushes are more lit up. And so it looks like it's um just glowing out of the windows. Not only does it make it look like the windows are glowing the light out onto the bushes, but it also is just a natural transition of color, having that bright yellow as light to this su to this subtle uh, yellow red. Um, it just really looks nice. Now you can see we got the windows and we got some of the foliage and brush in the foreground. And now let's try to find out what we're going to do with this green grass here. Now to find the right tone of color for every transition that you have, um, the best trick is to use a little bit of each color that you use in the painting. So for example, I'm not going to use just green. But I will take a color from each um, primary color, primarily focused on using mostly green. But it's going to balance out and make it a better transition when I add it into the foreground. I want to suggest that there's more like fall leaves on the ground, so I'm going to go with more of a red and yellow tint. Now you guys, I am adding in uh, the grass area, and I'm just going to go with a lighter brown and red with a mix of green. Go for like leaves on the ground. I'm adding in this foreground path and the grass. There's no really plan. It's just the focus is on the house, so I'll just fill in a little path and a little bit, and then I'll just kind of throw in some foliage. This path is just mainly brown and white and a little bit of highlight yellow and get lots of water. I've got the whole path in. Now, what I like to do is to show like there's like kind of like grooves or like it's it's been rode on. I'll make these little marks like tires made. Okay guys, so here's what we got so far. We got the foreground in, we got the windows. Um, now, let's work on the chimney. I'm gonna try to match the color of the house. It's like a light, it's like a cream color. We'll go in here, block in. added one of those little pipes those like black pipes you see like in Europe or something I think they look kinda they look kinda fun we'll put two of them in there okay 
Now for my favorite part, I like to add the smoke. And what I do is I take some white and I take, I'll take a little bit of green. To, and it'll be really light. And we'll go up here. And we'll bring it up. And I like to soften it with my finger. Or you know, we'll get some water. I'm going to work on these two sconces now that are on the sides of the doors. And it's just going to be like a light, uh, like a light gray black color. And let's see uh, what we can do here. Okay, I'm going to this one. Okay, got the sconces in. I'm gonna work on these little pots. We're gonna do some brown and some black. Okay, they're in.